What's up? It's Sadzilla with Zilla Mode, and today we're going to be talking about playlists. Now, this can mean playlists that you can get on for free, playlists that you buy to get on, or editorials. So, let's get into it. So before we get into the different types of playlists that I'm going to be talking about today, first I want to give you guys a tip on how to find playlists and more importantly how to find playlist curators so that you can contact them and get onto these playlists. So first what you're going to do is you're going to go to the search bar on Spotify. What you're going to put in there is your genre. So this could be anything. It could be rock, it could be hip hop, it could be rap trap you could be as niche as you want it to be but one thing that you want to make sure that you do is keep it true to your music use the genre that your music is in so put the genre then you're going to put space and then you're going to put the at sign okay and then you're going to do another space and then you're going to put a social media platform for this example we'll use instagram now when you bring up all the search results and you start clicking on these playlists in the description, it'll have an at for somebody on Instagram so that you can contact them and find out how you can get on this playlist. You can use this technique to find curators on any kind of social media platform that uses some kind of at. So now that we got that taken care of, let's talk about playlists. First, I want to talk about free playlists and how to get on those. Now, these free-to-play playlists are a couple of things. One, they're pretty hard to find. Two, they're usually a lot smaller than the other playlists that we're going to be talking about. And three, did I mention that they were hard to find? Look, you can use the technique that I talked about in the beginning of the video and find these kind of curators that will put on your music for free and not charge anything. But just keep in mind that these are little steps. These are many steps to growing that playlist base um, of listeners. And um, it's worth it to do the work and find and get onto these playlists in the end, even if you only get a few streams because you're sending good signals to Spotify. But don't expect anything huge. That is the unfortunate truth that we currently live in. Now we have the pay to play playlist. You can probably find these the same way that I showed you with that technique, but now when you're contacting these curators, they're asking for a fee. Unfortunately, this is just the way it is, okay? I mean, they offer a service and you can pay them for that service or you don't have to. Usually they do not give freebies, because there is a lot of value in these placements. There's a lot of engaged listeners that are going to these playlists and it's worth something. It really is because there's a lot of engaged listeners checking out this playlist and those are very valuable. So they ask for a fee. Let's say it has like 20,000 followers on the playlist and you get maybe like, let's say a thousand streams a day on the first spot, like the number one spot. You could be looking at something like $200 to $300 for the entire month just to be in that number one spot for a month. Now the best curators that ask for this fee want to know what the song sounds like first. They want to know if it even fits in their playlist. And you may be denied in a lot of these playlists and not even be able to pay to get on because either they don't like the music or it doesn't fit in their genres of music that they have on the playlist. So. You want to definitely keep that in mind because, you know, that's like actually a good sign. Um, if they don't listen to your music, that's actually a bad sign. That's a red flag that you should probably pay attention to and probably get away from that playlist as far as possible. Because, uh, one, even if it's not botted, that is just an indicator that it's just not going to last that long. If they are not listening to the music that they're putting on the playlist, the playlist followers are going to kind of fall off and they're going to stop listening as much and it's just not going to be as valuable. Now you can pay a lot of money to get on these playlists and you can get a lot of streams but it's all about that conversion rate. If you don't get a good conversion rate on these playlists, do not stay on these playlists. Do not keep on buying onto these playlists. If you go up to 10,000 monthly listeners and you get added to like 10 playlists after being on that playlist and you know after you're off the playlist now you're down to whatever you were before a thousand monthly listeners or whatever then that's not a good retention rate right you want to get a lot of playlist ads you want to get follows um, those are the more important things the streams aren't really what matters 
even though that's kind of where you get your money back a little bit but that doesn't matter as much as how many followers you're getting from it how many um, playlist ads you're getting how many saves these this is good information that you're sending to Spotify that is actually a lot more valuable than any stream which you would get now on to Spotify editorial playlist now this is the big one this is what everybody kind of wants to get on right now it's the big hot thing even though they've been around for a while now people that they know are getting on the Spotify editorials and they're like how did you get on that I need to get on that how do I get on a Spotify editorial it's like the big hot thing right now and really I don't have an exact answer for you besides you need to send a lot of good information to Spotify you need to still do the same exact work and you need to do a lot of it because that's the only time that Spotify is going to really pay attention to your music and actually consider your music for a Spotify editorial this is why usually Spotify says like you need to send your music or you need to pitch your music like a month in advance two weeks in advance because that will guarantee that they actually listen to it in other words it's gonna take them a while to listen to it because you have to think that there's a lot of people that are pitching to editorials I've been on multiple editorials I've been on probably about 10 to 15 different types of editorials and they usually all come pretty algorithmically right meaning that they know my music is good because a lot of people listen to it they know that it fits in that genre for that song based on the information that I put into the Spotify editorial uh, pitch and so they add it to the Spotify editorial now I want to dedicate a whole video to Spotify editorial playlists uh, because I think that we can go really in depth on that and really dive into how to get on these but to give you a brief summary basically you want to make sure that all the information that you're putting into the mood the vibe um, the instruments that are played in the song the genres that are represented um, all that stuff is super correct and accurate to the music that you're putting forth and not only that but accurate to the kind of playlist that you wanted to get on and then two you want to mention in your pitch what kind of playlist you want to get on so let's say you make music that's kind of like what I make which is like alternative hip-hop then you would say in your pitch hey I think this would be a great fit on the Spotify editorial playlist tirade or sledge or name any other ones misfits 2.0 there's so many different types of editorials for that genre but basically find out what those editorials are for your genre and say that your song would fit great on it this will kind of give them an idea of who to send this to what curators to send this uh, pitch to so that's just a brief summary of how I use Spotify editorial pitching tools to actually get on Spotify editorials but really it all comes from the algorithm and sending those good signals to Spotify so it knows who you are and kind of what editorials you would fit on but I have a lot of stories and a lot of information about that I'll make a whole nother video where we really deep dive into Spotify editorial placements um, because like I said I've been on those before I have experience with it and I know a lot of other artists that have experience with it as well and I can kind of share that knowledge with you guys but that about wraps this video up i hope you guys got a lot of value out of this thank you guys for watching this video i hope you get you guys check out other videos of mine that i have on the channel check out some of the other ones that i talk about about the three steps to um, being consistent releasing weekly bi-weekly or monthly and then some stuff about you know the algorithm go on a journey with me figuring out what the spotify algorithm is and i explain that to you guys and and kind of how i use it to grow my fan base but anyway like and subscribe down below click the bell icon if you want to get notified whenever i drop videos just like this and i've been sadzilla you just went in the zilla mode and zilla out <laughs>